Jeremy Fragrance is one of the most unhinged influencers that there is, and he's probably my favorite. If you don't know who he is, he's a fragrance reviewer who reviews fragrances, except only like one in 10 videos is actually of him doing that. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys an insight into what the GOAT fragrance reviewer gets up to. This is not paying, guys. Yeah, when I said unhinged, I meant it. Now you might be wondering why he explicitly says here, guys, this is not cocaine. And that's because for reasons unknown, people speculate the guy might be on the stuff. Honestly, I don't know how they've reached this conclusion. He's literally just a normal German. This is just what Germans look like and do. So as you can see here, Jeremy doesn't wear underwear. And you can probably also see there's not a lot of fragrance reviewing going on. To be fair to him, the dancing seems to be like some sort of side effect to the reviews. Or the other way around, because most of the time when he posts a video of himself dancing, it's followed up by a fragrance video. It's a more spicy version of the original they mark. It smells pretty good, actually. Should I wear it right now? I can respect this workflow. Could you imagine if everyone worked like this? Going to work would be like... 12% more fun. But that's only if you can dance. If you, if you can't dance, then work would be sh** because you would get bullied. But I think it's fair to say a solid like 40% of this guy's videos is him just busting it down. But I'm not gonna deny it. The guy has some f***ing fantastic moves. Do you wanna know someone else you can't deny? The fact that Jeremy Fragrance is the number one fragrance icon that follows the teaching of Jesus. It's kinda like a little catchphrase of his. Number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. Number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. Number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. Number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. Bam. But for the life of me, I can't figure out how he's gotten this title. I assume he's just given it to himself because I doubt there's a committee of people out there looking for the number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus at all times. Or maybe in order to get this title, you need to 1v1 Jeremy in, in a fragrance off. I don't, I don't even know what a fucking, what's a fragrance off. You see how many fragrance bottle caps you can fit up your fucking ass or something. But how, you wonder, is this man so famous? Well, that's because like all Germans, he has special magical abilities. If you look into this man's eyes, you become a fan immediately. Don't believe me? Check this shit out. It smells like truffles in here, but did you know? Let's do a picture. Yes. Did you know that the- He literally just mind controls you. And whether you want one or not, you are getting a picture because he will just take that fucking phone from you like it belongs to him. Honestly, it's pretty funny because like two and 10 times, you can tell these people just don't have a clue who this guy is. And he's just like, I saw it already. Let's make a picture. Yoink. Like, check this out. Give me your phone, please. Picture time in Romania. <laughs> nice. Thank Have you. a good day. You too. I was like, who the f*** is this German guy that's just snatched my phone? You would have thought in Romania, these guys would be less willing to just give their phone away. Those people have a reputation for a reason. He's beaten the Romanians at their own game. Quick little side note, if you're this far into the video, you might as well like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1k subscribers sometime soon. Anyway, thank you. Bye. Enjoy the rest of the video. If there's one person who's the god at sniffing, it's Jeremy. This guy will sniff anyone. You name it, he'd sniff them. But mainly, he sniffs women. You know, women on like nights out and stuff. Unsuspecting women just trying to have fun with their friends. But little do they know, Jeremy is hiding around the corner, just salivating at the thought of that one of them is wearing Dior Sauvage. <laughs> Oh, wow. No, no, it's not. Smells musky, feminine, sexy. <laughs> you just smell feminine, musky, fresh. <laughs> you smell just super attractive, feminine, musk. I mean, to be fair, he does sniff his fair share of men too. Like this one time I saw a video, he was basically kissing this man's neck, trying to figure out what fragrance he was wearing. Yeah, a lot of you would crumble in this situation. I know I would. My knees would get weak. But despite his gargantuan riz and his massive fragrance, Jeremy is sad. Deep down inside of himself, he's just a sad guy. You see, you might see him talking to all of these women, but there's an issue with all of them. They do not fit his criteria for a wife. I'm looking for a girlfriend. You must be Christian and you must be under 32. I was thinking 35, but let's say under 32. And I've created a specific email called girlfriend at jeremyfragrance.com. So this is a serious inquiry from my side. I'm interested in a girlfriend. You must be Christian and you must be under 32 years old. He himself is 35. but I don't know why he didn't just set the limit at 35. That's kind of fucked up, dude. Like seriously, come on. And I know for a fact he got like 500 gazillion emails from like teenage boys. Because I know I sent one. Thank God 
this wasn't Ava Chris Tyson pulling this little shtick. Oh my god, that'll be a national disaster. Thankfully, Jeremy is normal. Let's be real, he's more normal than Ava Chris Tyson, okay? That's not even a competition. You seriously fucked up when this guy is like 12 times more normal than you. I don't know what woman, especially a 32-year-old Christian, like what are the chances of that, would see this account and see him doing all of this and think, oh yeah, he's the one for me, you know? I just really don't... If I could see your face, I like that I want to marry you Honestly, if that doesn't do it, I have no idea what will, man. You can't put out a heart-wrenching song like that and then post something like this straight after. Any woman that fell for you because of that song is gone. You can't post yourself in speedos with your, your, your cheeks hanging out. This is why you're single. The laptop is out in this video. You can tell he's definitely been on the hunt. He's definitely searching through those emails. He posted himself, posted up like this, on the hunt, browsing his emails multiple times. Do not let this man see a 33-year-old Christian female. He will fucking explode. Bro is disarming a nuclear bomb. You know what? He might just be. He is the man for the job. I would trust him with that job with my life. Complete sidetrack now onto a completely new subject. But I find it funny, so it's going in the video. He literally posts edits of himself. Like, he is literally the bona fide number one Jeremy Fragrance fan. And he is Jeremy Fragrance. Why did he do this, bro? What possessed him to jump on the fucking table? Creaming myself with organic body cream. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to watch the rest of this one. This is what happened to Jeremy after he guessed that guy's fragrance correctly. This is the aftermath of that, I think. Creaming myself. <laughs> Who starts a video by saying that? <laughs> Guys, I am creaming myself. Now I gotta rub all this shit in and it's gonna take three hours. While I'm doing this, just just play the next video of the funny the funny edit, okay? I'll be right back. Also, das ist Niggas in Paris ja. von Jay Z und und Kanye West. Ja. I don't know why he did that. And then he put it in an edit and posted it. Like, he is the first white guy in recent history to say the N-word, emo after it, he starts dancing, he emotes, and post it in an edit and not get cancelled. What the actual f*** is this guy? This is incredible that he has this much aura that he can't be cancelled. Like, did the dancing save him? Was he like, oh, I can't post this now. I said the N-word, f*** my career's over. Hold on, wait a minute. We're all good. All of the badness from that word, I just emoted it straight out my body. We're good. Don't worry. Just upload it. Do you have a social media manager right now? What fucking psychopath of a social media manager is like, do you know what our best plan is? Views are a bit low. What's that one clip where you said the M word and we locked it away in the vault? Bring that bad boy out. Bloop. 10 million fucking views, baby. Who the fuck does that? His PR manager is him off 10 lines of coke. That's who's making the calls around here. So this is so good smelling. One of the best smells I know from food. It smells sweet, edible, and waxy. As if to prove my point even further, this video exists. I don't know what's going on anymore. The smell of corn is, is very nice and edible, guys. He couldn't get a hot, steamy woman, Christian woman, in, into the hotel room with him. So he's like, you know what? I'll just get some hot, steamy corn. Great play. Honestly, we've all, we've all been there. Uh, subscribe to this video if you haven't. To this video? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say.